Okay, let's take a derivative of this equation. Y equals cosine x minus 1. This is the same thing as cosine of x, for example. We, in both cases, we use the chain rule. Cosine of x will be simply handled the same way as x minus 1. So, let's y derivative equals, this is, we're going to use the chain rule. So, x minus 1, the argument, we'll leave it alone. We'll just take care of the cosine first. So, derivative of cosine will be negative sine, leaving the argument untouched. And now, we're going to multiply it by the derivative of what's inside of the argument. So the derivative of x minus 1 is just simply 1. There you go. So the derivative would be negative sine of x minus 1. And when you're dealing with cosine of x, would be negative sine of x, because you took the argument just like we handled it here. 